This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. This is a spooky picture. It's Carisha, a.k.a. City Girls. Uh, what's her name? Young Miami, okay? I always forget those two's names. And Diddy holding hands. Southside is about to make a video. Probably going at Diddy. Like, Yo, Diddy, don't touch my girl's hand. Because <laughs> it's like... He's probably smashing. They're holding their hand. Those, they're, he's holding that hand pretty intimately. Diddy, what is he, 51, 52? She's 28, 30, somewhere in there. You never know with the celebrity ages, you know? Like, So, uh, you know, because you can... A lot of them fake their age. I mean, Cash Doll's still 28. <laughs> so, uh, you know, this is a little spooky, man. It's a little weird. Did, did he like some young let's just say that you know he likes him about 20 25 years younger <laughs> um here we go this is a little loaded okay his ex-girl or whatever she is uh she spoke out let me get to that thing where she wrote hold on all right so she said this is getting out of hand and i gotta clear this up i'm completely sorry for what happened to deshaun the rumors that are going around that I cheated on him, which led to him taking his own life. I want to clear that up, that I never cheated on him. Don't believe everything you see on the internet. You guys are just blaming me and accusing me. Like, come on, man, I have feelings too. I told Deshaun I didn't want to be in a relationship no more. Nothing with cheating or ever happened. Well, usually it's like the girl loses interest and moves on. And then you're like, whoa, you moved on kind of quick. You know, because girls usually lose interest like, way before you i told deshaun i didn't want to be in a relationship no more uh nothing about cheating ever happened and i guess i hurt him a lot because it's a it's a heartbreak she said heartbreak it's a heartbreak <laughs> and then people were telling me well nicole you should have stayed with him you want me to lie about my feelings to someone you'll want me to pretend like i like someone just uh, to stay with someone nope you want to be honest and that's what I did. I'm honest. I'm just extremely unlucky. Unlucky. She's unlucky that he died. What? If you were in a relationship and wanted to break up with someone, how would you do it? Yeah, it's pretty hard to, like, break up with somebody. Uh, but girls, and especially young girls, like, when you're young, like, say when you're, like, in your 20s, Man, I've had a, I've had, when I was in my 20s, two girls broke up with me, right? One when I was like 20, right? And then the other one, 25, right? Those were my two biggest heartbreaks, right? Whoa, they're vicious. They'll just look at you like, yo, <laughs> look at you. They'll start criticizing. I can't be with someone like this. Then they'll start pointing out all your flaws. And it's like, yo, this hurts, man. You know, because this is someone you actually still like. You know, I'm going to tell you, I no offense to girls listening to this. Yo, I mean, I'm sure guys are vicious, too. But I can always be from the perspective where I was like, yo, I was like torn apart, man. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> man, I was crying the first time when I was 20. I cried. I cried like a little girl. <laughs> the first one always hurts the best, the worst. Then it does. You don't cry anymore. It doesn't matter. You know, it's like it's like you you got a bulletproof vest. <laughs> um, Diddy, Diddy says he's king of New York, king of L.A., and king of Miami. You were feeling good last night at QC's party, right? Because <laughs> he was he's king of everything. I don't think he's been back to New York in years. I don't think I don't think he cares. You get you can't be I. I would say Diddy used to be king of New York for sure, but I wouldn't say he's king of New York anymore. I would say uh, Jay-Z's more tied in with things to consider him king of something than, than Diddy is now. That's just my opinion. Because you got to kind of be active still to be king. Day-Day. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. So uh, there's this video that came out of him getting rough with a uh, a Dunkin' Donuts employee. I, I, how, how that happens, I have no idea. It was a teenager, too. And Day Day 
says he didn't do it. Day Day already says, you know, this is like, they wanted to paint you. He said, they want me in the slammer, huh? It's on the news, too. Uh, I want to see me dead or in jail, blah, blah, blah. You know, treating me like I'm a criminal. I'm not even uh, tripping. Lawyer paid. All right. Well, there is a video out there of him getting aggressive. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. It's up for, I mean, if I were him, I'd turn, you, you might as well turn yourself in because you're on video getting, you know, aggressive. I don't know about the other part, but I know that the part where he like reaches over the counter, that's a little, that's a little much, my G. And then yeah, o- over what? A donut? Over a, uh, <laughs> over an egg white sandwich? Come on, come on, man. You're talking about $5 here. And then you're bragging about your lawyer's paid. Okay, your lawyer's paid. But you had a problem with a teenager over eight dollars, over eight forty nine. You got you got wild, reached across the counter and tried to put paws on a teenager, making like, you know, maybe maybe eight ten dollars an hour. Come on. Uh, then we got Jack Keese. So the guy speaks out that so Jack Keese was in Mexico with Dreezy, they have a crazy relationship back and forth. They're both down there trying to make things work. Well, a video comes out. 30 seconds, a little clip of a guy on the ground. Dreezy said she got touched in the face by this guy. Jackie's body slammed him. This guy is three times the size of Jackie's, and she says he body slammed him. I don't know about that. Maybe tripped him. It looks like the, the, the beach patrol got a hold of him. But then he's saying they were trying to buy a white substance off of him, allegedly. And they he said no, and they got mad. I don't know. I'm just telling you what he said. Anyways, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. Appreciate you guys so much. Peace.